Hello, I think I'm live. Maybe I am live. Let's see if it shows up on my channel. Okay, it says I'm live. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, I'm live. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Tammy. How are you to this evening? Happy, happy New Year's to you. I know it's a little early yet. It's uh, close to 930 on the East Coast. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I'll be on, I think, for about a half an hour or so. Um, I've pre-assembled or, um, you know, gotten some things prepared. I haven't technically pre-assembled anything, but I did cut some things down to size to Kind of reduce the amount of time that I'm going to spend here in this video. So I'm going to make an envelope is what I'm actually going to do. I should probably move my water to somewhere else. Hi Michelle! How are you this evening? Did you guys get my notification or were you just lucky enough to notice I was on? I'm live. <laughs> Domino dust? Is that a drink or were you eating Domino's pizza? Am I not up on the slang? <laughs> what happened? Okay, so. All right, I'll give it a few minutes because I did tell people I was gonna be on at 6.30 and I'm a little bit early. So I figured we could chat a little bit before we Oh, oh, you're doing the dangle thing. Cool. I thought those turned out so incredibly cute. I think they were an amazing thing that she did. So hopefully, you know, Domino Dust is appealing and <laughs> not terribly bad for your health. So I thought we would just uh, have a chit chat for a few minutes while we're waiting for people to come in. Hello, Bima from the other room. Oh, good. I'm glad you got the help you needed. Yay. Oh, I didn't turn on my hot light. Hold on. Let's see if that helps with the color. Oh, I looked right into the light. I've been trying to teach myself not to look into the light, but I still seem to do it anyway. I can, I can hear myself in the other room. <laughs> Awkward. Hi, Donna. Told you I'd be on right around 6.30. <laughs> so um, some of you may recognize the envelope. It's the one um, that uh, Bima made for me, so I thought I would decorate one. And I have one partially done. I just hadn't got around to finishing it up. So um, I'm going to actually do one of these. Uh, it's coffee dyed, 110 pound card stock. Um, so I thought it would be fun to actually do one. And since I agreed to do this, even though I didn't want to, I was being a snot and being like, you better get online. <laughs> you know, you agree to do stuff sometimes. You're like, oh, now I have to actually do this stuff. So the hardest part is turning on the camera. It's like putting on your shoes to exercise. Okay, so let me clear off some of this stuff. I don't know that I'm going to need all the stuff I brought in here, but I figured it's better safe than sorry. And there's some stuff going away over here. But I thought it's better to have a score and a trimmer and stuff just in case. 
I did pre-cut the main pieces for this. So, and that's going to be the front and the back. And then I've chosen these papers for the inside. I just have to glue them down. I brought some Timmy Holtz words in here just in case I could find something. Um, I didn't do a video on these, but these are something I found in one of our scaventures just the other day. Um, I thought they might make a nice uh, embellishment for this. And then I rated the Miss Goodies again because she lets me. And I got some little appliques and some pearls and stuff. I don't know that I'm going to use all of this, but I thought bring in a few things and see what happens. And then Bima helped me troll the internet for things to use. So I got a few images. It's um, a paper from, uh, it's, I think it's Colorbox or something along those lines. It's one of those pads you can get for $5 off Amazon. It's not terribly expensive, but I really like the look of it. And then um, this is from a pad that I borrowed from Bima. Um, it is... I carried everything in here on it. Um, I'm not sure who the maker is. There's a price tag over it. Let me see if I can figure it out. Hold on. Um, it says PPD Field Study is the name of the pad. So this is what it looks like. But the green papers are from in there. Oh, thank you, Michelle. That's very sweet. So that's the, um, this paper came out of there. So I got some, most of my images are pretty small, so I don't know if you'll be able to see them. But I got, you know, some flapper ladies, some fun stuff like it. those are all along. And then I got, um, she showed me a public domain website where I got pictures of real people flapper ladies. I'm sure the other ones are too. They've just been um, colorized a little bit, um, some tibia tones and stuff. And then this one came out of a magazine book she had. Um, nope. I'm trying to get, trying to figure out the placement of the camera. So this is uh, two flapper ladies in the back of a car. And, you know, then I just, I, I apparently, we were talking about this last night. I like ladies in hats, apparently. Yes, Donna, it's one of those pads. It's it's uh, got a, a decent selection of paper, but not a whole lot of pages. I think there were either 24 or 48 pages in the pad. Um, they're blank on one side, but I did like the, you know, it's got kind of that vintage -y feel to it without being expensive because my budget is for cheap people <laughs> or broke people. All right, so we are just after 6.30. I will get started on my little envelope here. Let's see what happens. Uh, I agreed to do this challenge because Laura was so excited about it. and uh, I, But I agreed to do it knowing full well that I just don't know that much about the 1920s. So I'm not sure how actually 20s this will come out, but we're going to give it our best shot here. See if I can get some glue going. So our uh, Michelle is crafting. What are the rest of you doing? I'm just gonna bring this over here where I can actually see what I'm doing. The doorknob's really sticking. Is the color bad? No. My camera's bad. Yeah, you're like, Do you need to like you've table? got most of that showing, but none of this. I can only sit so far forward. Okay. It would be me crafting like Frankenstein over here. Donna, you're eating Chinese feed and watching other people craft. Chinese food and watching other people craft. Yeah, my glue bottle is not working very well. Okay, we're going to switch up to the big bottle then. Because I don't have any patience today. In addition to sassy pants, I lack patience. <laughs> paper is paper. You got that right. You know, sometimes you get those crafters. They've got the super expensive paper and 
people start to feel like, I'm not saying everybody does, but after a while you feel like, well, maybe I'm just not doing this right. But I like what I like. And it's awesome if I like what I like and I can get it cheap. <laughs> Sending me a link. <laughs> okay. Uh, where am I? There I am. <laughs> yeah. Bima's stuff is free because, you know, it's her stash. She has been letting me play in it, so I feel very lucky. i got just one corner. just doesn't want to do its corner thing. Hi. Um, no. Okay, so we'll put the one on the back now. Glue bottle is about half empty now, so I have to have patience. The glue apparently does not know me very well. I'll just lay that down sideways and hope for the best. <laughs> I am spoiled. I'm very spoiled. And I did edge these. Um, I couldn't find my black ink, so I edged them in brown. Which happens to actually be my favorite ink. I like to edge things in brown. Except at Halloween, then it's all black all the time. Yeah, I do too, but this is what I got. And, you know, the ones that sit on the cap, they're easier to use just because the glue is always ready to go. You don't have, you're not like, oh, I'm just going to squeeze this for 45 minutes and hope it comes out. That's not quite straight, but I think it's too late to move it. Oh, well. Life is a little crooked. Nothing wrong with that being crooked. It just, it does. It makes it easier. Any glue that stands on its end and lets gravity do the work is awesome. I would have been on a few minutes earlier, but I had to change into my comfy sloth pants. And they are comfy. I got them for Christmas. And I like them a lot. Okay. Oops. Too much glue. Got a little carried away with the glue over here on the side. Come on, peel off like a good glue. And go over there out of the way. No, of course, you missed one big spot right in the middle. Hi, Robin. How are you today? Are you enjoying your New Year's Eve? Did I miss JD? JD? Louise! Hi, Louise! Well, the best in 2020 to you also. I hope you are having a very merry, happy New Year's up there in Canada. Thank you for stopping by. 
Hi, JD. <laughs> I thought for a minute, Donna, that you said you need Aileen's tacky, and I'm like, is Aileen tacky? She may well be. Okay, let's see if I can let's get that to fold down a little bit. And then we'll put this one on right here. <laughs> awesome. A nice, quiet New Year's Eve is what a lot of us like. I think that's why we're in here crafting and trying to avoid people <laughs> that are out there drinking and being loud. <laughs> Bima. Uh, somehow I feel like we should have known that about Aileen before tonight. That's a little close to the edge. Oh, it's a good thing I looked. Yeah, that's the way I want it. I want the pointy things towards the top. Okay. And I have blue fingers already. <laughs> Donna. And JD, how's your New Year's Eve going? Always got to have a little Rick James going on, don't you? Life wouldn't be the same without it. Okay. Now let me get some glue off my fingers. Did I miss anybody? Hope I haven't missed anybody. Scroll up just a little bit, make sure I didn't miss anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Vanessa. How are you to this evening? I keep saying today, even though it is not really daytime anymore. <laughs> it's early evening here in... Las Vegas. Okay, so there is, a, you know, it's not dry, so it's going to be a little warpy. But um, there's the inside, the front, and the back. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into here. Now I've added that extra paper, and then it was like, I don't want to close. We don't want to close. We want to stay open. Oh, are you? I saw that you were on live earlier. Did you have fun making your stuff? This is only my second or third live, so I'm still a little nervous. So let's see. What do we do? I really, really like her. And... Now I have questions to ask myself. I want to use that, but I don't know if it's going to match. But it was the only dangly, blingy thing I could find. <laughs> okay. So let's see what I'm going to wind up with. Thanks, Robin. Okay, so see if I round the corners on that, it will be a little bit smaller. Okay. So 
So Donna had Chinese food. What did everybody else have? Did you have good food? Were you eating the obligatory pizza or do you have a New Year's Eve tradition that you like to go with? I wonder if I should do two pictures. Maybe I should do a big one and a small one. Could cut a little bit off of that. Trim her up a little bit more. Want to leave the hat though? I like the hats. Let's round the corners. Oops, trying to throw the lace on the floor. You may need to make some rice, Donna. Still hungry. Grinning. JD, you got pizza, and Robin had Chinese too. Vanessa had breakfast for dinner. That's one of the best things, isn't it? Something as simple as breakfast at another time of the day. I love breakfast. I love breakfast best, though, when someone else makes it and cleans up the mess. Because I like all the breakfast foods, but, you know, some of them are super messy to make. And so I'm lazy. I don't want to. I don't want to clean up after that. Hmm. I thought that was black, but I think it's, nope, that's purple. I'm using that. That is totally the wrong color for tonight. Okay. <laughs> Donna, ooh, maybe hash browns. Okay. So I think I like those two ladies together. Got the little lace right here. I think I maybe want to move them over this way. Do I want to move them? Because I wanted to do a thing with the feathers. I don't know if this is going to go together. I may have to scrap this idea. That one's kind of straight up and down. And then we've got this one. That we need to go that way. Because I was thinking of maybe trimming those down a little bit. And so you've got your little feathers there. And then I could put one of these jewels right on there. I don't know if I like that. I think the color might be wrong for this. Hi, witchy. Donna's making rice now. Okay, so what do you guys think? I don't know if that's going to work because I, I really wanted to make like one of those, the piece that goes in the middle of one of those headbands with the feathers. That's kind of what I was going for. I'm going to put one of these big jewels on there. Gonna get a drink of water while I think about this for a second. All right, so we'll put the three late we'll put the two ladies on there and then decide about the about the feathers later. Come on, glue. Oh, just a scrap of paper. Okay. I can live with that. other hat lady. We'll put her on there too. Thank 
you, Witchy. Vima helped me find the images. It's a these are all from public domain. These are pictures of real ladies. Actual 20s. I, this one's from 1921, and I think this one is from 1923, if I'm not wrong. I cut off the details that said what it was. So, that little part's not thickened down. Thank you for the thumbs up, ladies. That's very sweet. Oh, come on, glue. Please agree with me. Oh. The glue's like, well, we're not getting to have New Year's Eve fun. Why should we work? Okay. Come on. Let's see if that helps. You've got super freak stuck in your head. Oh, you'll be singing it all night. At least it's the right kind of night for it. Oh, that's not working at all. Being a pain in the tushy. There's enough on the edge of the glue bottle to make this work, I think. Okay. <laughs> Michelle, 10 out of 10. Whoops. I'm not Bima. I'm not going to sing it for you, but you know. Know that in my head you have stuck it in there too. So, congratulations, earworm successful. Okay. I think I like that right there. Where go? Use a different glue for this. In Miami Beach, you have no idea. No, I really don't. Um, trying to think. I was somewhere. Oh, I was in Fort Lauderdale for a very short time. Eons and eons ago when I was like 17 or 18, maybe 19. <laughs> and they're just belting it out. <sighs> Okay, I will be right back because my glue is not. Hold on. I didn't bring the pokey tool in here. But I know right where it is, so I'll be right back. I have returned. I think I have successfully unstuck my glue. I have a secondary glue bottle, courtesy of Bima. I'm sorry, no, it's not very fun staring at my card when she's like, where'd she go? We were all here, we were all having fun, and then she just walked out of the room. Okay, let me put the lid back on that. We're having other problems, like E6000 everywhere. Okay. I'm going to cut that one off and attach it a little bit closer than the little stringy thing allows for. Stay. Oops. Laura, I didn't see your video before I got on. Is it going to be, did you do a video? Did I just miss it? There we go. I kind of want those tucked up a little closer together. There. 
Now they're all snuggled up nice. No, don't come out of the glue. The glue is all like, we're going to ooze. Okay. And then I think I'm going to put this lace on so that it kind of peeks out underneath the fold of the envelope. So that's drying. We'll go in here. And we'll get a little lace going on. Hi, Cheryl. How are you this evening? Happy New Year to you. Lovely lady. Okay, so right about there. Rubber band. You're blessed. Awesome. I'm so happy to hear it. <laughs> happy New Year to you, Robin. Is it? It's not quite time there yet. It's seven, eight, nine, ten. We're a little bit off from the official time, but thank you. I think it's going to be a great year in 2020. Having the Roaring Twenties again, how could it not be just awesome, tastic? They're busting them into where you are. Holy cow! There's going to be some trash to clean up tomorrow. That's for sure. I know it'll be like crazy, ridiculous, crazy down on the strip, which would be why I'm here making an envelope on this video. Oh, come on. Glue, please be nice to me. <laughs> I don't know if that's strictly sound advice, Michelle. Probably be funny, though, to watch if you weren't directly involved. Put your hair up in curlers first and wear a bathrobe. That'll be fun. Perhaps holding a beer and smoking a cigarette. Come on, glue. Be the glue I need you to be. Oh, don't do it there on the table. We'll have stuff glued to the table. New York is only an hour away on the train for you. You know, I've always thought maybe I want to go do that, but then I remember... I'm not really a fan of people and as iconic as Thanksgiving or not Thanksgiving as New Year's is for it, associated with New York City. I just don't think I could handle that many people in one space. Plus there'd be touching and we know how I feel about touching you. No touching. All right. This is like the most boring thing I've ever done. Watch me put glue on stuff. Okay. So, I want it to come right up to the edge so that it peeks out under the envelope. And I get glue all over my fingers. I'm with you, Cheryl. I used to go to concerts and stuff, and it didn't bother me as much. And I used to even go in the pit sometimes. But now, I'm like, people, you. And any place where, you know, you just casually have to, because they're so packed in that you, there's no way to avoid bumping into them. That's a big fat no for me. No, thank you. That's sticking over the edge on the wrong side. I don't want that. Just want to be able to see it under the bottom of the front of the envelope, not on the back side. Okay.
Okay, I won't strip. I'll never strip, Bima. Yes, yes, I did. And I wasn't young when I did it either. I was in my 30s. Because I had babies when I was younger. And I couldn't go do that sort of stuff. So I was in my 30s. Yep, I went in the pit. It happened. I went and saw Disturbed and uh, Rob Zombie and all kinds of stuff. And you all were just thinking this is just the cute chipmunk voice lady. No. Stuff happened. Thunder from Down Under is on your bucket list. Um, I haven't been to see it, but I have some friends that have. And they had a really good, inappropriate time. <laughs> Be Be <laughs> That's all it took? I, I, I won't strip for you, but I've been in a mosh pit. Now you have some respect for me. Okay. So let's see how that looks. I kind of like it. We're getting somewhere with that. Did anybody want to vote on the feathers or were they so ugly you were dumbfounded? Okay, in here, I think I want the car. I think I want the car picture on the inside. I think I kind of like that for the. Of course, we're going to round the corners because Amy loves rounded corners. You used to do Las Vegas every year. Oh, Donna, you missed the feathers. You were probably making rice when the feathers happened. So I have these really ugly feathers. And this is because I, I don't know that it necessarily matches with anything else that's going on. Here, let me just lay that out that way. Um, so, you know, the feathery part that's on the and you have to imagine a little bit because I'm going to cut the feathers down. But I don't want to cut them down if I don't wind up using them um, because it seems rude to cut down somebody's feathers and then go. Okay, I don't want to use that. Okay, now I can't make my fingers work. Hold on. I'm, I'm totally getting there. I have been clumsy all day long. So I was going to kind of do this. I'm going to, I'm obviously going to cut off like the bottom part of this. So you just have like this more top part. And then I was going to put a big jewel right here, but I don't know <laughs> if these feathers are just too ugly for life. Look on the shelf behind you. Okay, I, I'm slowly turning around while trying to hold this. So there's a blingy thing there. Um, uh, well, there's stuff up there. Oh. <laughs> That's a little big, don't you think? Right there. <laughs> Do you like my feathers? I plucked them myself right out of a jar. Okay, this is the other option. And I don't know how I feel about cutting a peacock feather. But I could use just the eye part. I could snip it down to just the eye part with the big fringy on top. And put that jewel on there. So what do you think? My ugly feathers or <laughs> maybe not the bling bling though. Well, I have to have something to cover up the bottom of the feathers. What if I did this? I have these. I could do that maybe and put those over the bottom of the feather. So I'll vote ugly feathers, peacock feathers, bling or no bling. I don't know. I cut, Now that I kind of got them all arranged the way I like them, I think I maybe like the feathers. And I was just going to put one single like bling on there, not a bunch of bling. Save the peacock, use the yellow. Okay. Crafting by suggestion. <laughs> Don is like, ugly feathers, ugly feathers. Okay. So bling or no bling? Donna, Donna says peacock and bling, no. Okay. 
So nobody likes the bling. But I do need something to cover that up. Hmm. Okay. I'll never get them arranged the same way again. You like the 20 over them? Okay. Cover that up, crickets. Um, those are the only two I brought. I brought in here. Um, there's two smaller ones right here. Um, and then I brought in some pearls, but I don't think that's right. But I could definitely put the twenty over it. Ooh. Do it. So it would be, but it would be further up than that. Let me get these trimmed down and see if we can't at least stick them together. Yes. Now you have more bling. Oh. Okay, what about that bling? Oh. This is a matter of finding where the camera is on here. Bling has been delivered. Uh-oh. And Laura's going to be drinking the giggly water. So there's some. Um, let me get the feathers cut down and, and maybe glued onto a piece of paper. And then that way. It'll be easier to tell what we like because the feathers won't be rolling all over the place. Have the, now there's feather everywhere. I know what I'll be breathing in tonight while I'm sleeping. Okay, we'll cut that off there. <laughs> feathers everywhere. Oh, how did you spend your New Year's Eve? I'm trying to get feathers out of my nose. Okay, I want those to be a little bit separated so they look like one of those head pieces. And okay. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Okay. Oh, yay, for once the, damn it. For once the glue came squeezing out, but the piece of paper dropped on the ground. Whoa, glue everywhere. Glue's not. Oh, crud. Uh oh, what just happened? Oh no. Bad things have happened. The glue fell apart. Um, I think I might be in trouble. Oh, I see what I did. Silly girl. I'm having technical difficulties over here. Black bits. This one, that's three applique flowers. Okay, have these exactly the way I want them now. Get on there and stay. No moving for you feathers. Yes. It's <laughs> just glue and bling and glue. I think I'm gluing these feathers to my finger. 
All right, I got special talents. Get on there. So there's the little feathery part. Okay, so. So I'm afraid to put it on here. Here we go. Okay, what do you think about that? Layer it up. Okay, so we want one of these. A little piece of lace. Okay, I think we need a smaller piece of lace than that. Let's see if maybe three of those will do it. Okay, what about that? So take away two of the feathers and just leave one. So you want me to take away two of the feathers and just leave one, that's what I'm hearing? Lay off of the bubbly, witchy. I still have the back of the envelope and the inside before we just stick everything on there. Okay. So, do we like that? Do we hate that? Oof. There's this bling that's gold and black. Still feathers everywhere. Not. <laughs> Maybe we could put on one of those. A little bling around the edge. I don't have either of those things. I just have ladies in hats. Um, let's see. All right, so there's a little bit of lace on here and that, and I'll so I'll glue those parts down. Thank you, Donna. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right on there. I'm gonna make it so some of the lace shows, I think. Okay. 
Okay. So we can do the 20. The circly bling or this bling. And it looks like... Okay, so I don't think I like the 20 in the middle. I think it's a little bulky. And I think that's a little big. I think I'm just going to put one of these in the middle. We'll add a little glue to that. Up, I saw JC, Stacy just went live. So if you guys are want to go over to the party, I... That is okay. Because I hear Stacy throws a good party. Oops, we got okay. A little extra glue sticking out of there. Okay. Needs to be a little more in the center of the. All right. Then we'll just put a big old glob of glue on the back of that. Okay. That one feather is still a little out of control, but. Shady. She'll be aligned forever. Okay. So I think that's going to be the front. Okay. So we'll come in here and we'll throw this in the middle some stuff out my car with my two flapper ladies in it I think that might be something lighter behind it Thank you, Witchy. Aw, thank you, ladies. You haven't seen that side of it yet. I, yeah, I think you weren't in when I did the, I think I need a piece of a book page or something. I'll be right, I need something a little bit lighter behind it because those are too matchy matchy with the color. Oh, how fun. You can see both Janie and Stacy. That is fun. Okay, have book page. So we'll get a little something to go with all of this. Let's see what I've got in my little tiny images. I can't tell what that one's supposed to be.
Oh, she's tipsy already. That's funny. Too small. I think I kind of like those two together. <laughs> okay, so I think that's what I'm going to put in there. And maybe I'll add a little bit of blingy on there somewhere. But I think that's where I want to go to start. So let's get some ink on that stuff. And then I think uh, once I'm done with this, I will get offline because I will have been online for an hour. And I know everybody wants to get onto the party. And then I will work on finishing the back of that with a little bit of lace and a couple of the smaller pictures. Feather thing, thing took me a little bit to get a handle on it because I knew sort of what I wanted to do. But actualizing it was a little harder than I thought. Oh, and Bima brought me nice glue. Bima brought me the kind that top loads. Isn't that sweet? Whoa. And the glue. <laughs> the glue is very warm. Okay, so I'll try and, okay. So what we're doing here is the car is gonna be straight and the lady's gonna be at a jaunty angle. I want that over a little bit more. And it's upside down, but we're gonna just, well, maybe I can still get it back around the other way. I don't know. You want it to stick out a little bit. I got glue in a place I don't really need it. I did, I said jaunty. It's a jaunty angle, people. It's a jaunty angle. All right, let's see if I like that. I think I like it. I'll put some glue on the back of that and glue that sucker down. Don't squeeze the glue quite as hard this time because it went all over the place. And then I was like, oh no. Okay. All right. I want it just above the lace right there. It's a little sticky on there because I overshot the glue and then I put it on the wrong place. Stick down, darn you, stick down. Okay. That is definitely gonna need a little dressing up. Put 
you over there. I think I like that. <laughs> You're double dipping watching both. A lot of people do that. I do that sometimes because, you know, there's so much good stuff on and you're like, I don't want to miss any of it. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Thank you, Bima. I think I think Bima's just trying to pacify me because I'm like, I don't know anything about the 20. I was totally freaking out earlier after her live stream. I did. I had a little temper tantrum. I don't want to play anymore. I'm still, still trying to blow feathers off the tabletop. Okay, so I think I'm going to put that right there. And then I need this glue. Bima, you're watching four screens at once. So what you're saying really is you might need chocolate later to... Get over the stress of trying to follow four things at once. Or booze or both. Okay, so let me clean that off because that's not my glue. That is Bima's glue. And then I need more E6000. Oh, not now, but you have in the past. Okay. I was like, are there even four people on right now? Well, I'm sure there are. There must totally be hundreds of people on for New Year's Eve doing various live streams and having their fun. Because there are lots of people that don't necessarily want to go out on New Year's, but they still want to have fun with their friends. Oh, you're giving me your undivided attention? Now I feel really super special. You're going to have chocolate-covered cherry and, and and a shot of insulin at midnight. There you go. She's ready to counteract the effects. There are six crafters, on, six crafters live right now, including multiples on one channel. Holy cow. We are some crafting fools. It's New Year's Eve. We're going to craft. We don't care. Okay, so I think it needs something on the sides, but I don't know what. Maybe I should put some little pearls, like three on each side, or maybe just like some corner bling. Do I need corner bling? Maybe I have some small. What if I do like a small teardrop and then two smaller circles? All right, let's see how I like that. Could I have the same size? Well, now I'm confused about size. Okay. <laughs> Grafters are just party animals. Well, we do like our fun, but we're like, oh, we're going to be party animals, but we're also going to craft. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? So now I need some little blingy thingies. Some smaller ones. Okay, so I should glue these down. Hi, Sandra. Happy New Year's to you, too. <laughs> happy, happy New Year. I hope you are having a lot of fun and having a wonderful um, New Year's Eve. No 
note to self, not quite as much glue. All right. And then, and then, these are so tiny. I think I'll just put the glue right here. Nope, I don't know if I want to do that. Oops. All right, I got to be quiet now. I'm concentrating. Not under the paper, silly. <laughs> Shall you have your pots and wooden spoons ready? Okay. They're kind of hard to see. I suppose it's better in person. Oops, that's not moving. Okay. I'm just going to go with that placement. What should you have warned me about? I I missed something. Are you guys talking about me while I'm in the room because I can't pay attention? Okay. What did I do now? All right, I missed something. Come on, stream, do what I want you to do. <gasps> she took it out of the box. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay. I think that's awesome. I thought you were going to leave it in the box forever and just stare at the box and pet the box. That is so awesome. Okay, well, I have been on for uh, just a little over an hour, and I'm, I'm not uh, anywhere near done, but um, Stacy's party is going, so I'm going to go off of live, and I will finish this up, and I will post a picture later on my Facebook and in Bemus group so that we can all get onto the party stage of the evening. But there you go. So there's the inside of the front. And so I'll do something up here just a little bit because, you know, it's all going to lay on top of this, which is going to be covered over by that. Um, and then I'll do, I think I'm just going to do some lace on the sides and maybe like three of the girl images on the back. Um, but as soon as I'm done with it, I will post um, a picture on the Facebook things, and I had a lovely time with you guys. I hope I wasn't too boring with all my glue. Oh, you popped your cherry, witty. Awesome. And I will see you all at Stacy's uh, poodle party if you're there. If you're not, I wish you the very happiest New Year's Eve and the best in 2020. I hope you have an awesome crafty New Year and an also just an awesome New Year in general. I love you guys, and I will see you again soon. Until I do, I wish you the happiest of crafting. Bye. Now, where's...
where do I go to get off this live? Okay, here we go. Good night, ladies.